Hey, welcome back. It's the first video of Steel Beast version 4.1. I wanted to go over how to convert the older legacy maps into the new terrain engine so they're usable. So, something that you may have experienced already if you've played this is you'll go to some of the older missions that you have. In this case, I'm going to go to the folder where I have missions by Panzer Leader, and let's say that I want to play Combat Team Advance at Woodhill 1994, right? So I click it, I'm all ready to play. And this uh, message pops up. Now, essentially what this is telling us is that there's not a current new map package um, done in the updated graphic engine format. So, bottom line, we're going to have to find this terrain as well as this height map and do some of the options located here. Now, I'll show you how to get these real quick. So, by default, 4.1 when you uninstall the previous installation of Steel Beast and install the current version, it goes ahead and deletes all the old legacy maps. Well, obviously that's a problem. Fortunately, there is a solution. So if you go to esim.com to the download section, there's the uh, specific URL, and I'll put a link in the video description. You can go to the legacy maps installer. And basically, you'll download those, you'll install them, and at that point, you can go to your actual maps folder. So by default, it's going to be C... Program Data, ESIM Games, Steel Beast, and then Maps. And you should have a folder that looks somewhat similar to this. Now, to know that you've got all the legacy maps in place, you can go ahead and go to Terrain, look through it. And in this case, we were looking for a um, specific map mentioned below. Yeah, Bow Desert version 3.terrain, so it's located there. And additionally, we can go to Height and see that uh, Bow Desert is also here as well, if I can find the thing. Yep, so basically OTW, it's either AI or AO. It was one of those, but basically it's here. So to get this thing actually working, we'll go ahead and go to the mission editor itself. All right, so with the map editor loaded, you can go ahead and go to File, Export to Map Package, and then from here you'll want to find the scenario in question. In this case, it's under Panzer Leader and Combat Team Advance at Woodhill 1994. Now you can click Open here, and... In the case that you actually have the legacy terrain and height files, it'll basically say that, hey, these uh, terrain and height files exist. Here's their location. You can go ahead and convert this with little to no issue. So at that point, you can click OK. You can, of course, rename this if you want, change the author, the simulated date, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, one of the things that you want to do if you're purely doing this to play the scenario is to go ahead and click the Publish uh, button there. Now, what Publish does is it essentially turns the map into read-only mode. So let's say, for example, that you wanted to take this map and modify it. You would not want it to be published so that you could continue editing it. Publish is just a simple way of saying that, hey, this map is done and it's ready to be used by scenario. So you click that, you press next, and you basically wait for the um, extraction process to occur. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, the uh, map file will be successfully extracted into a new map package, and this icon will appear. So you can either load the scenario in the mission editor, or you can go ahead and click Next to close the entire thing. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now with that closed, I can go ahead and attempt to open the mission itself. So Combat Team Advance at Woodhill. Notice the error icon. The error does not appear. Go ahead and play the mission. And as anticipated, the mission loads uh, as expected. So this is a method to do it. It's not necessarily the best method to conduct all the map packages, but for uh, attempting to get the Camp Hornfelt scenarios working so you can follow along with the rest of this video series, it'll be good enough. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful to you guys. See you later.